What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, guys, quick market recap. I haven't done these in a little while, so I figured I'd do a quick one here for you on the S&P 500. As you can see, guys, we are just not really moving very much here. These last few days are just constant chop, no direction, up and down news. It is really sucking to trade right now. And you know what? Sometimes the best position in regards to that is not to have one at all. Um, I find out, uh, honestly, that the best thing is to make a trade, make it profitable, or stop out and just be done. Because literally, for uh, for instance, today, we literally were just grinding up. I was in calls all day. And I was going to swing the calls. And uh, then at the end of the day, we had this huge drop, which killed my options, which absolutely, I swear, every time I go to the bathroom or something, then like the algo machine breaks down or something. And it just killed me because this is a pretty extensive drop for you guys on the one minute. That's who that's a correction right there. That's just, that's like, uh, that's like you're driving a car and then you get pulled over by not a cop by like the mafia. They rob your car. They, they kill everyone in your family and then they leave you on the street. Um, luckily that's not what happened because this is only a, if we look on an hourly chart, that just looks like a pullback in 15 minute. But honestly, that's a huge drop from two thirty down to two fifteen. It's pretty extensive for right at the end of the day, random, just straight down when you're like in the money, you know, I entered over here. So I literally just lost all my money and broke even. Um, it was lame. Actually, I think it was even down. So that's just instance of how you should be trading right now because you never know what Donald Trump or any news is going to come out and do this to you. Totally destroy it. So really what I should have done, and the same thing happened the other day as well, and I should have learned from my mistakes on the other day, and that was my fault. But I believe we had an extensive move that just destroyed options the other day as well. Luckily, uh, you know, we came back up. I think it was, let's see, 15 minutes. So we were trailing up looking good. Then all of a sudden, we just got this huge, like, Right here on this hour, we were up to here. This was a green candle at one point, and then we just tanked. And that was at the end of the day right there, and just boom. And now we're just retracing up. But, I mean, honestly, the best thing to do in regards to this, if you're green right there, I hate to say it, but, like, just, just take it. Take it off at least and make it a super small position. I had a full-size position here, and I was going to cut it at the end of the day, but, like, this happened, and it just – Threw me way off. So right now we're at the 618 of our, this retracement here from this tank. Almost looks like a double top right here. But we did close above it. So that's a good sign. So I still am bullish on the market. We're uptrending right now. Uh, if we look at the daily, we're technically on a downtrend. We look at the four hour, we're still on a kind of a downtrend trying to. Hourly is bullish. 30 minute is bullish. 15 minute looks like a start of a pullback. But we are still bullish on the 15 minute as long as we keep this uptrend here. Um, so right now I still am technically long with a spy, but um, I know we have a few gaps to fill um, above as well as below. So we will see for that um, from the overnight. So that's really going to be the pick of the direction, guys, for where we fill those. Um, anyways, uh, looking at oil really quick, same thing, kind of choppiness right there. Still looking like where our trend has started to change. It looks like we've kind of bottomed out here. We're at the bottom of this channel. So I'm 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 bullish on oil at this level. Um it could go down lower, but as of right now, it's trying to it's it's just consolidating back and forth here. This is technically a lower high than back here, but this is a lower low as well. So as long as we don't go below this here, uh we're still we're still bullish. So anything above fifty two dollars is solid for UWT. Gold is just really depending on news. Um, bearish overall, we're still keeping this downtrend here. If you were to make a trend line right here, that would be down. Um, but we'll see what happens. It could break above this and then bounce off of it, and that'd be a great long play. Or we could break down. Right now, we're just trailing sideways, so that's how I see that as of right now. Natural gas is still bearish as heck. Um, I'm feeling like this is probably the bottom right now, considering all the support here. Um, but we need to hold this daily support right here, or else this is like going going down further straight down. So that's my two cents on the market right now, guys, on the commodities and uh, the SPY. So right now, um, or not, keep on rocking. Like I said, lock in those positions before news comes out and play safe. Bye.